Welcome to this special edition of Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update. I'm Pat Hindle, here with my co-host Gary LaRue and special guest Matt Morgan from the National Radio Observatory in Virginia, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell us a little bit about your work there? Sure. Um, we develop uh, radio astronomy instrumentation for radio telescopes on behalf of the astrophysics community in the world. And uh, my, my own work involves uh, novel radio instrumentation concepts for uh, the next generation of low noise receivers. So you make a lot of your own equipment and yes, you have to have design expertise? Yes, we have a number of different people who do different, who specialize in different areas of instrumentation from cryogenic low noise amplifiers to high speed computing to fiber optic transmission. Okay. So Matt, you recently published a book about reflectionless filters. Can you tell us a little bit about what was the genesis for you writing that book? Well, I was working on a, on a radio telescope receiver uh, many years ago and was having an issue with uh, out-of-band interactions between the mixer and the filter. There was out-of-band energy that was becoming trapped and, and affecting the conversion efficiency of the mixer uh, and image bands. And, and uh, I started. I was about to do the usual thing where you put an attenuator pad on the mixer port, right. but I, I realized I didn't have the gain to throw away. And so I started looking for other solutions, ways of absorbing the out-of-band energy instead of reflecting it back. And that's essentially when we came up with the reflectionless filter concept. And uh, we've been making improvements ever since. And what led you to go from sort of that development work to actually writing a book about it? Uh, well, it, after a while, you know, I published the papers and then uh, we just sort of learned, learned more and more about it and we kept making improvements and it kind of got to be too big of a subject anymore to publish in academic journal papers. So we just decided that, I just decided that it really deserved to have its own book. And the book actually includes some things that have not been published in the papers because uh, some of the newest, latest discoveries, we, I, I just thought that it would be best to present in that format. So. And so Mini Circuits is now selling that technology, so they've licensed it from you? or? Yes, they are. So we developed it for radio astronomy, but uh, because it, it's, it's a problem that a lot of people have, not only with mixers and multipliers and ADCs and all kinds of broadband nonlinear components, the, the out-of-band reflection of the filters turns out to be a common problem that a lot of people in the industry face. So. Uh, yes, we, we did uh, talk to many circuits about that, and they're, they're now making these parts available. And you had a nice article that you uh, published in an issue of Microwave Journal earlier this year describing the, the use of the reflectionless filters. Yes, I uh, partnered with uh, many circuits on that publication. It was, it was just an example of one application with these filters. It, it turns out to be a very easy way to make uh, broadband filters by cascading high and low pass filters because of the intrinsic impedance match. They cascade well and, and uh, have, have very good extended pass bands and stop bands. Yeah, it was quite an interesting paper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So do you have any plans for future work in this area? Uh, in point of fact, I am still making improvements on these filters, partly on behalf of many circuits, and we're, we're offering new models all the time, and uh, I have some more, more uh, publications I'd like to, to make. I'm still, depend still trying to decide whether I want to put that in a paper or maybe pr publish a second edition of the book. Great. Well, yeah. we look forward to the additional information later on, and hopefully you'll publish some more. Thanks. Very good. Thank you for talking to us today. Uh, from IMS 2018, and thank you for watching Frequency Matters.